Today we show you how to make a Japanese steakhouse hibachi meal so good you'll want to have it for two or three days straight. For reals? Yeah. This is Liquid Lord with Teacap Recipes inviting you to have a seat. <laughs> Hello, DMAC. Welcome to the show. Do you want to tell the folks at home where to begin? I'll show you later. Can you just tell me, please? I won't start cooking if you don't tell me. It's just easier to explain it as we go along before I do it. You jumbled it all up there for me. Start from the beginning. How'd you hit We begin with a simple marinade. DMAC, what are we going to put in this marinade? Uh, electric razor? Hand moisturizer or KY jelly. I don't know which it is. Hey, DMAC, why don't we try some ingredients that are not for having sex or washing your hands? <laughs> We're going to begin with a big Ziploc bag. First, add two tablespoons of soy sauce, followed by one tablespoon of honey. And we bears like tasting honey. Next, add a teaspoon of red wine vinegar. A little bit. Followed by about a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. And finally, for the wet ingredients, uh, about a teaspoon of extra Lorne olive oil. Look what you're fucking doing! Let's get ready for the dry ingredients. Let's start with a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, followed by a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger, and finally, a quarter teaspoon of granulated garlic. And now, it's time to put your meat in the bag. That wasn't the meat I was talking about. Now start by adding your salmon, but don't add baked salmon though. And add your steak. You can certainly use separate bags for the separate proteins if you wish. And now we have just one more step. You can put that in the fridge. Yeah. Overnight. And now on to another ingredient. You can't have a Japanese steakhouse experience without an Americanized mayonnaise-based yum-yum sauce. If, uh, if we're gonna talk, be honest with each other, I am. okay? I am. I'm gonna be honest with you, I know where you're coming from. Yeah. It's, it's hard. It's not as hard as you would think, Officer Dudetsky. You could buy it in the store, sure, but homemade is best. I'm being honest. Let's begin with a quarter teaspoon of paprika, followed by half a teaspoon of granulated garlic. Next, let's add half a teaspoon of cayenne red pepper. And to sweeten things up, one teaspoon of raw sugar. No rubber. Let's continue forward with one teaspoon of tomato paste. Also, let's add one tablespoon of melted butter. And it certainly wouldn't be a tea cap recipe without some white stuff. Cool. One and a quarter cup of mayonnaise. Next, we've got to stir this concoction together. I'm going to use a whisk but Dustin would probably use his cane. Well, I, I wasn't gonna do nothing. You back. Get Down there. Now, after you mix this all together, I'm pretty sure you can figure out where it's gonna go. Put that in the refrigerator. If it's too thick, you could also add a couple tablespoons of water to it. It's really watered down, you can even test it. <laughs> That's way watered down. Way watered down. Way what, watered down. What is that? Chris, where have you been? It's yum yum sauce. The only other thing that I would do is pre-cook some rice and put that in the refrigerator as well. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you would add to this yum yum sauce. And now, on to the next ingredient. It's the next day. Now it's time to get cooking. Let's begin with some simple Japanese steakhouse veggies. I want to give a shout out to Matthew Cogbird for trading me the zucchini for my squash. He must have a big date tonight. <laughs> hey. Let's begin by adding some extra Lauren olive oil, but not this much though. I'd like to know why I was stupid to do that. We're going to begin by adding the diced up zucchini, and I would allow this to cook before you add the onions or anything like that. You can also add mushrooms to this if you wish. It's been about five minutes now. The zucchini is nice and tender. We're gonna go ahead and add one white onion and also one tablespoon of garlic butter. However, I'm having one hell of a time getting these onions to caramelize. DMAC, you didn't add any KY to this wok, did you? I don't know why I did that. And the veggies are just about done. 
So let's go ahead and move on to our next side dish, shall we? The veggies are now done. Let's make one of my personal favorites, fried rice. And as you can see here, it only requires a few simple ingredients. And it's gonna be even easier to show you as we go along. This time we're gonna use a little bit of sesame oil. Go ahead and add one chopped generic white onion. What? No way. Now go ahead and add two cups of your cooked generic white. Yeah, I just wanna to get to the peach. Come here, just one second. Sure. Rice. After giving this a quick mix, go ahead and add a little bit more sesame oil. Also, don't forget your scrambled egg. And of course, you can't forget the soy sauce. It looks to me like the rice is complete. DMAC, what do you think? I thought she was wanting to be shaved. DMAC? Yeah. Is that what you wanted to do? Okay, let me guess, Justin. Her mother introduced you to, right? Yeah. While mothers are throwing their daughters at DMAC. Such a mad story, that don't make yeah. no sense. I'm, I'm with you, Officer Dudetsky. Let's move on to the protein, shall we? And now we're on to our main course, our New York Strip Steak and Salmon. Once again, begin with some extra worn olive oil in a cast iron pan. I am tired of that motherfucker. My bad, Lorny. I'm going to throw both proteins in the same pan. If you're making this for anyone with any food allergies, I would certainly advise against this. Now go ahead and pour the rest of the marinade on top of your meat. After about three minutes, I'm gonna give it a flip. I'm keeping my burner on medium high. And I'm also gonna add some garlic butter to the meat. Now, even though this tea cap recipe required a hell of a lot more prep than the rest of my meals, let me know in the comments if this is something that you would still try at home. I don't know, that's the problem. Would you? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know. No problem, do you? It wasn't even gonna come down here. Yeah, but and after cooking the meat at four minutes per side, this is to my liking. I like my steak the way I like my sugar. No rubber. Sorry about the shaky camera. I was just really anxious to try this. And now for the best part of the show. Now to figure out how to fit all this epicness onto one plate. This looks really good. I'm just being honest. Stay calm, drink your water, relax. Justin, I do have a confession to make. I always knew at some point you would want to have two proteins and for me to be there. I mean, you will one day. But unfortunately, that day isn't today. Sorry, Justin. You can't act like a pervert on the tea cap recipes, Japanese steakhouse. Officer Dudensky, get him out of here. <laughs> that brings a whole new meaning to the DMAC blues. And after trying this meal, I realize that this is the cleanest, best pleasure. Get, get out. Get out of his arm. This has been Liquid Lord with TCAP Recipes reminding you, don't forget to delete your archives. I don't like lawyers. It's actually in my mother's name, in my name. <laughs> Ain't you gonna go dead to dog? Helping my friend out once in a while with his wrestling DVDs. Minor arrest. 